love it. I'm glitz and glamour on the show. Joining us are Tom Sainsbury and Hamish Russell. Their alter egos, depression and anxiety. A high school frenemies turn star performers. And they have reunited for Fringe Festival show Wigging Out. Welcome to the cafe, guys. Yes, welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Uh, I so feel much. totally over-underdressed for this. Yeah, yeah. Would I was going to mention something, but mm. yeah. Yeah. some effort would have been nice. <laughs> you look absolutely <laughs> magnificent. Um, Tom, let's start with you. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Dee and Anne's relationship. They were friends in high school? Yeah. Um, they were friends, and then um, Dee made some very um, weak decisions early <laughs> on, and they kind of broke up, and now this is kind of about their reunion together. Mm. Yeah. Right, and Hamish, where did they meet? They, yes, and how long had it been since they'd seen each other? It's kind of like a... Um, a a miscellaneous amount of years has passed <laughs> and they kind of meet in a, in a doctor's surgery okay. in the waiting room. They kind of clock each other and then it kind of spirals from there. They try to avoid each other and then they can't anymore because they're just... But they originally met in sewing class in high school because mm. they both came up with this wonderful design for a new kind of outfit. Ah. And, so, and so, is there a reason why they haven't seen each other for so long? Yes. They've been doing a little bit of Facebook stalking, I take it, though? Yeah. Yes, definitely Absolutely. Facebook stalking. Constant yeah. Facebook stalking. But um, So Dee kind of made Anne a bit angry in high school when they were, getting, they were getting very successful and then kind of Dee ruined it a little bit. So there's a bit of beef there. It's like a Taylor Swift song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Who do you think has the better life? Definitely Anne. Well, she's like, D, from the you. from from the outside, and looks like she's she's put together, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> compared to this mess. So um, we're, obviously, <laughs> we're embodying. So I'm depression, so I'm a depressive, and anxiety. So she's very like anxious. High functioning, anxious woman. Yeah. And I work at a call centre. Not that there's anything wrong with working at a call centre. No, but no. But I tend to do. <laughs> uh, and there's a bit of lip syncing in the show as well? Yes. So, so it's a play, but we've got, like, we kind of break away and do, like, lip syncing dance numbers as well with songs, pop songs, or kind of gay anthems that are appropriate for the scene, like in, in a monologue. Like think, Annie Lennox Why, yeah. that's my favourite one. I quite Ooh. like my Hung Up by Madonna. It's yeah. quite a good one. Oh, great songs mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, so how did the, how did how did the show come about, so yeah. to speak? Who actually decided this is a show we should be putting on? I kind of got, I guess, maybe thrown under the bus by Tom a little bit. I just I messaged him two drag names. I was like, "What about anxiety and depression?" And imagine a show with mm. those two characters. And then, like the next thing I heard was Tom was like, "I've submitted this as a show. We're performing in a couple of <laughs> the, months. These are the dates. Let's yeah. do it. So let's get some practice under our belt. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Tom, we know you so well as Paula Bennett. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the, the, the snaps that you do. Did you expect it to go as wide as what it did? Uh, no, and I'm still kind of like, I don't, it's really hard with something like Facebook and page views. You don't kind of, you can't really fathom. I mean, people are liking it, but you can't really fathom what it's like." how many people are actually watching it. And so people coming up to me now in the street and like complimenting me or kind of talking about it, it's just a very, I'm still kind of reeling with it, I guess. I have seen one person who actually thought you were, that was actually Paula Bennett. Oh, great. Yeah, they didn't understand it was a joke. <laughs> great. Sorry, Paula. Right. What a great... Sorry, Paula. Sorry, Paula. <laughs> well, actually, on the sorry, Paula thing, do you think you've done her any disservice? Oh, I don't, I don't know where, some people are, like, I got messages just before the election saying, you're making her too personable and human. <laughs> Stop it. And then I got some people going, you, you may do the clown of the National Party and you've destroyed her career. So I don't know. <laughs> that's uh, that's what I think. Yeah. I think Noel Thomas has ruined her career. Yeah, and she's always getting yelled at about bowl lattes and real life. It's, it's, she's told me two, every, a week goes by. You also made her look beautiful, though. Oh, like in comparison, in comparison, in comparison side by side, side Paula looks incredible. Yeah. Well, speaking of looking yeah. incredible, how long does it take you to get yeah. ready? Oh, 30 seconds, I think, <laughs> this morning. Oh, this um, whole thing an just hour and a half. Surprisingly, wearing less makeup than you, Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Burn. A little, a little yeah. dusting of powder. No, about, about three hours. Wow. Yeah, I think we're going to try and do like a speed version for the show. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it is takes quite a lot of time. But in true drag queen style, couldn't you just leave it on for the night? Yeah. <laughs> just rock to the next performance? I will be. Good. I'd probably look like Shrek <laughs> by like the third or fourth night. Yeah. <laughs> and that is what we're looking forward to. Um, thank you both guys for, you so for stopping by and making us <laughs> guys. feel... Guys! <laughs> sorry, go, 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 girls, 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 yeah, girls. Uh, for making us feel underdressed. I, uh, look, I tell you what, it's going to sound incredible watching you two do this show together, so I'll see you there. Thank you. It'll be you. great. Wigging Out is playing at the Basement Theatre as part of the Auckland Fringe Festival from tonight until Saturday. Tickets are available from iTickets.